Here is everything new, included in iOS 12.3 for iPhone and iPad. Hey everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and I hope you are as excited as we are because iOS 12.3 has finally been released after a weeks long beta period. So we're going to go hands on with that. You can download it right now while it's downloading. Check out this video and we're going to walk through all of the new features that you can expect once you get it installed. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the biggest change that you'll find in iOS 12.3 is the new TV app that includes a new icon on the home screen as well as within settings. When you launch the app, there'll be a new kind of splash screen that lets you know everything that's new inside of the updated Apple TV app. The app has been completely reworked. It has a bunch of new features, new layout, tabs across the bottom removed, including store and sports, which are now located at different parts throughout the app. Apple is relying on machine learning for a new for you section. Things include both movies and TV shows now, so it's a little bit more intermingled and more cohesive. As you're going, there's new featured sections such as Feature on Hulu, Showtime, HBO, things that you are already subscribed to and watch. A big part of the Apple TV app experience is going to be Apple TV channels. Apple TV channels is a collection of streaming services such as HBO, Showtime, Stars, Cinemax, CBS All Access, and more. They will all be viewable and streamable right from within the Apple TV app. That means if you try to watch Game of Thrones from the Apple TV app, it won't kick you over to the HBO app. It'll simply let you watch it right from here. You can even download Apple TV channel content for offline viewing. You of course can subscribe to many of these services through their own apps, but there are those benefits to doing it here. So if you have those subscriptions elsewhere, you may want to transition them over for a more seamless experience, including the fact you can share them with up to six family members with Apple's family sharing. It appears most, if not all of these services can also get a free week long trial. So you can try it out before you commit to paying for them. And they all have different rates, $14.99 a month, $8.99 for stars, whatever it may be. You can purchase content right from within the app using the new how to watch buttons here. The second tab is home to your library and the last one is home to search. If you're viewing content, there'll be a new share button in the top right hand corner, as well as a new up next button. You can see those when we tap into some content like pride and glory top right hand corner and from elsewhere in the app, there'll be a new account icon in the top right above the new slider of categories such as movies, TV shows, sports and kids. Of course, this includes an updated Apple TV widget, which allows you to jump right into your content. Other changes include support for the Reiwa era of the Japanese calendar, which begins on May 1st of 2019. The wallet app now includes more transactions for any of your Apple Pay equipped cards. The icons were removed for all the transactions other than the Apple Pay ones, though they all now do include location data when you tap into them. So that is it. That is everything new in iOS 12.3. A lot of this is also coming in TVS 12.3. So you can check that out, including the new Apple TV app, Apple TV channels. All of that will be inside of 12.3 on the Apple TV. And if you have not checked out what was in iOS 12.2, it was a huge major release. Be sure to check that out. There's a card in this video and there's a link down below in the description with over 40 new features that you can find there. Let us know if we missed any features or which ones are your favorite down below in the comments or reach out to me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.